Hey everyone, I'm Rob Brander. I'm an Associate Professor at the School of Biological Earth and Environmental Sciences at UNSW in Sydney. And we're here at Bondi Beach today because we're going to talk about the results of my students' project, which looked at the educational benefits of actually watching the show Bondi Rescue. Hello, my name is Nikki Wharton and I've just completed my honours project as part of my Bachelor of Environmental Science at UNSW in Sydney. Yeah, I guess I was quite surprised by the results. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be so positive and I found that so many people were using the skills that they had learnt from the, in the show in real life situations and I guess that's a really positive thing to see, um, it being so beneficial in people's lives. Yeah, well, I'm Liam McGawk from Monaghan in Ireland and I was just explaining that we've been watching Bondi Rescue for like maybe six months before we came here just to pick up little tips about what to do if you're caught in a rip. For example, swimming with the rip as opposed to against it, you know, to get out of trouble. Uh, so I found from my survey and my project that 43% uh, of people didn't actually know what a rip current was before uh, watching the show. But having watched the show, uh, almost all of them, so 94% of people actually knew what a rip was having watched the show. Hi, I'm Hoppo. I'm the head lifeguard down here at Bondi Beach. And I've noticed over the years, after 12 years of Bondi Rescue, the show has had a massive impact on people around the world. It's reduced rescues down here at Bondi. It's also educated people on where rips are and how to identify the rips and also where to swim, you know, between the red and yellow flags. So it's been a very educational program that has helped numerous peoples around the world. So in the survey we asked our viewers to look at a picture and see if they could identify a safe place to swim and uh, they had the choice whether to swim in between the red and yellow flags or not and 93% of people actually chose to swim in between the yellow flags when they had the choice. 